So this winter I've been focusing most of my carp fishing or most of my carp fishing efforts onto uh, the lake I'm currently sat at now. It's basically a crystal clear gravel pit that's about an hour and a half drive from home. I've chosen this lake this winter because um, to be honest I've always wanted to do a bit of a campaign on it and never really had much of a much of a chance to do so and also this place just to see a lot of pressure in the summer. Um, not just from anglers, but there's also a jet ski here. The lake gets stuffed full of weed. It's just really unfishable in the summer, or in the summer months anyway. So I've decided to do the winter on here, take the most out of it. Um, it's rumored to have a couple of 60 pounders in here. I've never actually seen any pictures or met anyone that's ever caught them, but it's rumored to have those fish, as a lot of the lakes I fish are. But I know for a fact there's, there's a multitude of 40, 50 pounders about. So. Like I said, it's a gravel pit, so the bulk of it is flat basically. It's relatively shallow, it's about four to six foot deep, not too much in terms of depth variation, and um, predominantly gravel with a few sort of dead weedy patches. Um, nothing particularly severe, um, you can easily fish in it. And I've picked out this little swim here. Now, basically, we've got like a northwest westerly wind um, blowing at the moment, it's quite strong as well. We've had a really, really mild weather. So this little bay here, basically the wind is just pushing right into it. Um, it's also kind of the shallower end of a lake. And uh, again, like I said, we've had, we've had snow recently, we've had really cold weather and it's suddenly we've got this really warm spell that's like 13, 14 degrees throughout the daytime. So I figured maybe the shallow water could be a good option seeing as all the surface layers of the water will be warming up with this mild spell. And uh, it turns out I'm not wrong. I've had quite a few fish show over or close to the area I'm fishing and uh, I've had a common in this little bay here. In terms of tactics, uh, basically taking a tub of the one litre PVA friendly Tiger Nuts from Crafty and basically just drilling that out with an 8mm um, drill, plugging it with cork basically and that just sits like a wafter really, so it's a, it's a little balanced tote bait. It's really small, really minimal. The other two rods are fished um, on really tight baited spots, so I'm baiting out of a spot. Uh, I'm baiting out over a, over a spot that's about four and hooking, that's wide. Like I said, there's no particular features out here, so I've just kind of bled it about, found spots I kind of like that are easy to fish to, that have got good markers, good hori horizon markers anyway. And uh, basically, all I'm spotting out is 15mm Peanut Pro Boily. Um, again, some of, the, um, some of the tigers in that one litre tub. and. Um, a good helping of the PVA friendly hemp and tiger nut mix, again from Crafty. And what I do basically is I mix all that together and then I basically put bo basically just add bo hot boiling hot water into the bucket so it's just about to the top of the mix. Then I just close the bucket, um, bucket lid and just leave that for about 24 hours. And um, oh, and also, more importantly, actually, I forgot to add, add this. What, when I've done that, I add some of the Munda, Munga Cloud liquid basically stir that up, close that and what will happen is that warm water basically boilies are going to soak that warm water that's obviously got some of the manga cloud in it so the boilies take that on and what that does is quite a few things a it obviously softens them so this time of year when the fish are digested well when the fish's digestive system is really really slow it kind of accelerates the process of um, digesting the bait effectively making them constantly hungry and constantly wanting more um, another thing it does um, this is why i do it all year round is the boilies take on the maximum amount of water in quite a short space of time. So it means they can't take on, or they physically can't take on any more water. So when you bait out of the spots, whether they be weedy or silty, the boilies, the baits don't actually absorb any of the scents from the silt. So they don't lose that smell. They, they don't take on the horrible, silty, choddy scent. Um, and those two rods that I fish over baited spots, I'm fishing over stiff end rigs, basically. Uh, with a 15 mil peanut pro pop-up and I just balance them out. Again, I drill them out with pop-ups uh, and I put a cork plug in them. 
not that the pop-ups aren't buoyant enough but the whole idea for me is i want my pop-ups to sink really really slowly i want my rigs to sink to sink really really slowly and the whole idea of the cork is if i plug in my cork and i balance them out on the edge the evening i recast my rods well i know by the next day or next morning they'll sink almost just as slow as they did the night before because of that cork um, obviously you can get away with just putting another pop-up on and not drilling it out that you know you'll, you'll quickly see in the morning that it'll go from sinking really slowly then 12 hours later it would just fall like a brick and, and the reason why I want my baits or my hook baits to sink really really slowly is if you imagine all those boilies out there that the fish are eating they all weigh a certain weight so the fish is getting used to that amount of suction to eat those baits if that makes sense so when they come across mine they're just going to assume it's like any other but obviously it's not it's far lighter than yours and the idea is when they waft it down it goes way back into the uh, almost to the throat I guess and it gives the hook way more time to actually find somewhere to grip and hook hold and you can actually you can physically see that when you unhook your fish you can see especially with a trod section section you can actually see the hook has a tendency well, the hook hold has a tendency to be quite far back in the throat um, so that's it for now like I said I've already caught a nice little common that was around the 20 pound mark I've got tonight ahead of me and then a little bit tomorrow morning so hopefully you'll see me with another fish <laughs>